Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will talk about batteries and internal resistance. Why it is important the internal resistance of a battery? Well, because that resistance limits the maximum amount of current that a battery can provide. Because of ohm law, we know that current is voltage divided by resistance. Therefore, more resistance means less current. So, some batteries have higher resistance, others have less resistance. Typically, less resistance means that it is a more expensive battery. For example, alkaline batteries are more expensive than carbon zinc batteries. And, of course, this alkaline has less resistance than the zinc carbon battery. And, of course, it can provide more current, as we will see later. Consider, for example, this AA battery, which is 1.5 volts. If we put the battery in short with a thick wire that has a very low resistance, for example, 0.01 ohms, therefore, because of ohms low, we can think that the current will be 1.5 volts divided by 0.01 ohms, that is 150 amps. Of course, we know that we will never get 150 amps from this battery. And the reason is that the resistance is the 0.01 ohms of the wire plus the internal resistance of the battery. Now, let me make a quick demonstration. I'm going to measure the current of this battery using the multimeter. And we need to consider the resistance of the multimeter wires, which is around 1 ohm. Therefore, we will obtain 1.5 amps, but we get less than that. Only 0.25 amps. And that is because, in addition to the wires, we have the resistance of the battery itself. show you how to calculate the internal resistance. We have a situation like in this diagram. We have our battery connected to a load. This load has a resistance, let's call it R2, and R1 is the internal resistance of the battery. The battery provides an open circuit voltage V, and because of Kirchhoff law, this voltage is divided in the two resistances, the internal resistance with a voltage V1 and the resistance of the load with a voltage V2. In the circuit, it will circulate a current, I, which of course is the same for both resistances. This is the only current flowing in the circuit. Because of Ohm's law, we know that resistance equals voltage divided by current. So, the internal resistance of the battery, R1, will be equal to V1 divided by the current. But, V1 can be obtained from V minus V2, the open circuit voltage of the battery, and the voltage of the external resistor. 
both of these we can measure directly with the multimeter and the current can be calculated as V2 divided by R2. Again, we can measure these values. Therefore, substituting in this equation, we obtain this expression that, after simplification, gives the formula for the internal resistance of the battery. All of the values can be measured directly with our multimeter. So, let's see uh, an example. Let's try with this alkaline 9 volt battery and I will use a resistor of 220 ohms. This will be R2, the external load. So let's measure first the voltage V, the, exter the open circuit voltage of the battery. And we get a value of 9.64 volts. And now connecting the resistor, the voltage V2 is 9.50 volts. That's all that we need. Now that we have measured our values, we go back to the formula and substitute the values. Here it is, and we obtain a value for the internal resistance of the battery of 3.24 ohms. This is the internal resistance. Now, I made the same with the other battery, the other 9 volt battery, but this is a carbon sink battery, and the value that I get is much larger of around 15.5 ohms. It is important to note that the internal resistance of a battery is not only dependent on the chemistry of the battery, but also is a function of how old your battery is. A new battery has less internal resistance and this resistance starts to increase as the battery gets old. So there you have it how to calculate internal resistance of a battery using your multimeter. Hope you liked this video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.